we'll move on to the midbrain. So I'm sure you've noticed, you've seen this in the first aid. We have, they add this to uh, the list. They throw in midbrains. We have pawns. And then we have medulla. So which cranial nerves are found in the midbrain, right? The origins. Which cranial nerves? It'll be cranial nerve three and four. What about in the pawns? Well, in the pawns we have five, six, seven, and eight. What about in the medulla? Nine, 10, 11, and 12. All right. So cranial nerve three, what is that associated with? Ocular motor nerve, right? Eye movement. All right, so the majority of the eye muscles. Sounds good to me. What about four, cranial nerve four? Also eye movement, superior oblique nerve. Okay, no big deal. Or superior oblique muscle, I rather. Five, it's trigeminal, ophthalmic, maxillary, mandibular uh, branches. Deal with sense, some movement. Six is associated with the lateral rectus muscle of the eye, so eye movement. Seven is facial nerve, so facial movement, some sense. Eight is vestibular cochlear, so mostly uh, hearing and balance. Nine is glossopharyngeal, so like swallowing, right? Ten is the vagus nerve, so like gag reflex, for example, amongst other things. Eleven is the um, accessory. It helps with trapezius muscle movement, so twisting of the head. And 12 is associated with tongue movement. So real quick review. Now let's get into the good stuff. So when it comes to, I'm sure you all recognize this image. I'm going to try my best to give you this image here, where they give you the pons, midbrain, medulla, and then they say, they give you these nerves here, and then they do one of these, and then they'll say, I'll say something like identify for X and you say, oh boy, all right, so much for that, right? So an easier way of looking at this, let me remove this. I want you to look at it this way. I want you to know that cranial nerve three, cranial nerve three, cranial nerve six, and cranial nerve 12, they all run midline, okay? They all run midline, so they're found medially. Second, they're midline, they're found medially. Okay, what that means is that the rest, four, five, seven through eight, nine, 10, 11, that means that the rest of those are found laterally. Okay, so we know which ones are medial, we, sh we know which ones are lateral. Okay, now let's say we had a patient who uh, when they stick out, stuck out their tongue, the tongue deviated to the right. You say, okay, tongue movement issues. Sounds like 12. So where's 12 found? It's in the medulla, midline or lateral, midline medulla. Okay, what about if we had a patient who had trouble swallowing? Maybe they had a gag reflex issue. Sounds like nine, maybe 10. And where's that found? Again, in the medulla, medial or lateral, lateral medulla. What if you had a patient who couldn't feel their face, couldn't taste, couldn't move their face, things like that? Well, it sounds like five and seven. Where is that found? In the pons, med medial or lateral? Lateral, okay. And then last but not least, if they can't move their eye, uh, if they have trouble moving their eye, maybe pupillary reflex issues, or most likely thinking about three and four, again, It'll be either midline or lateral midbrain. Now, how do we take this a step further? The way, the, 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 the way that they can play with this is by asking the blood supply. So what's the blood supply to the medial medulla? And that's the anterior spinal artery. What about the blood supply to the lateral medulla? Well, that's pica. What about blood supply to lateral pons? It's Ica. So if your patient comes in and they say they have trouble swallowing and they say they have trouble with the gag reflex, maybe the uvula is deviating to one side, 
something like that, right? That basically that says nine and 10 involvement, right? So if that means nine and 10 involvement, you immediately think medulla, lateral or medial. You're gonna say lateral medulla. And then they'll ask, what's the blood supply? What was the blood, uh, uh, the blood vessel that, uh, that suffered the stroke, that suffered the ischemia? You say, well, lateral medulla has to be pica, so lateral medullary syndrome. You see that? Add the same concept to, let's say, again, the patient who can't feel their face, facial droop, they can't taste, they can't make facial expressions. Maybe they can't even hear that well. Sounds like five, six, seven, pons, medial or lateral. You're going to say lateral. And then I'll ask you, what's the blood supply to the lateral pons? And you'll say ICA, so lateral pontine syndrome. And then if they give me a mix of everything, so maybe they can't move their eyes and they can't really feel their face and they have trouble with uh, swallowing and their tongue is deviating, then that tells me that it looks like the entire system has been affected. So that's also known as locked in syndrome. Remember, what's the big blood supply? Let me see if I draw it here in orange. Got a big old blood vessel that runs right down the middle of this. It's called your basilar artery. So if you see a combination of all of them, of midbrain pons and medulla, most likely going to be a basilar artery infarct. All right, guys, hope that helped.